they are sleeping on the ground to be ready for the flood. The flood they For the flood they know is coming To wash their fears away They are sleeping on the boats now To be ready for that day Sleeping in the trees now to save them for that day. The day we know is coming to carry worlds away. For the day. what is good we are sleeping in the trees now to keep faith with the world ten million stars float on the water ten thousand trees decided to have this exhibition uh, about nine months ago. Uh, I sort of gave my, myself permission to take the summer away from proofreading and copy editing, which is my day job, uh, just to do some art, because having gone through a, a phase of not doing anything, because it all seemed a bit pointless in the light of politics, um, I kind of came to the conclusion that actually it's the only thing worth doing if you're going to choose why not choose the thing that you want to do most, which is art? Um, and then uh, the thing, obviously, we're all thinking about, which is the climate and the emergency. And it all kind of fell into place and then kind of went, oh, and over there and over there and over there and over there. And, and this happened. It was fantastic. Uh, so now, now I'm probably going to be depressed next week when it's all over again. <laughs> but hopefully not, because hopefully I'll think of something else. Drawing is the basic thing for everything, I think, and I love drawing, and I love drawing people, so, um, from life, I don't, I don't like working from photographs, so all the big drawings in the exhibition were done in a single sitting over a few hours. People very generously came and gave me their time, sat there very patiently and still. The thing about those drawings that's a bit different is they're drawn on drafting film, which is translucent, and as they're hung independently, you can see them from both sides, so you get a effectively a mirror image of the drawing on the back, uh, which was a nice 
fluke because I picked the material because it was strong and could hang like that uh, independently, but then realised that actually there's a mirror image going on there as well. And that fits with the sculptures, which are all boxes lined with mirrors. I wanted to make an enclosed box with a thing in it, but I wanted people to be able to see what was in the box. And, and I thought, well, if I put some mirrors, then they can see what's in the mirrors. And I put the mirrors in the box and kind of went, look what that does. Had not expected it at all, which is a bit stupid because obviously that's what happens when you put a mirror up against a mirror. Um, but it also is exactly right for the idea of this sort of world that we're living in that seems to be infinite but isn't because it's actually in a box. And then it was a question of what to put in the mirror boxes. The maze, I've always been interested in mazes and it seemed a good image to use here. A plant that was a little weed that I pulled up out of my garden. The other thing that's in the, one of the boxes is a small bronze hand which I made a while ago because uh, actually sculpture for me used to be started off being like drawing and modelling from life portraits and so on and, uh, and I love doing that as well but I haven't done that so much lately. Ten million stars It's all happened so un, uh, unintentionally, so that I almost can't remember how the decisions got made and where things came from. Uh, it's as if lots of things that have been sitting in the back of my mind for years all suddenly connected themselves together. Uh, hopefully people will see that the exhibition has something to do with a bigger thing than just somebody indulging herself because she was a bit down about the environment. Um, and what it's really about is that isolation, the, the way we've segregated ourselves from each other, from the world, from the environment, pretended we can all function independently without any uh, acknowledgement of how we are actually all connected uh, to each other and to the world out there. So hopefully that's, that's what people will get from it, as well as just some interesting stuff to look at. Sleeping in the woods now The memory of this life This life we know is slender And bladed like a bird This life we know Sleeping in the woods now The echo of this day
absolutely marvellous. Very, uh, very unique. Well done, Chris. Amazing. And the light in here with these screens is, is incredible. So, yeah, that's good. And, and the timing of this exhibition is really good because it's also just after the, the um, demonstrations for the environment. So I think that's quite interesting, the time -wise. That's one of the uh, exhibits, if you want to call him that. that one there. I'm all in favour of it, obviously. We were backing it up. But uh, it's called quite new to me, so it's Felicity who's been doing this and driving it forward. And very timely, really, when you see the global response to this. Yeah, yeah, definitely. 150 countries and 1.75 billion people, so she couldn't have timed it much better, really, could she? Great setup, very well done. Um, and thank you for drawing me. It was really good. It was a lot easier than I thought um, to spend the whole day chatting, really. And then at the end of it, that was there. So, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. We all have followed Flitz's journey to this exhibition, and it's been a wonderful journey, and it's just seeing it in the flesh and with all the light coming through, because the last time we saw it, we just saw the images flat. And seeing the three-dimensional of it, it's it's wonderful. So, Felicia did a great job. I do like the mirror boxes. Yeah, they're cool. I think it's really interesting. Um, having met two of the people in it as well, I think it's really good that she's able to bring the personalities out in their fullest, I think. I've known this for quite a few years now, and when she told me about this project, I really wanted to be involved because I really like sitting for her and the conversations that we have. I've never ever sat as a subject for so long before and it was really cathartic. In fact, when the arch was on, was on I fell asleep. It was, it was an amazing experience. It took a day. We saw these as a preview preview in Fliss's barn and coming here today, they, 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 they come to life in, in this bigger space. Uh, the light that's coming through the windows makes the cities come to life. I think it's brilliant. But we've got a, a duty really to ensure that we we change things. And, and it's nice to see that the, the cities here are sort of with their eyes closed and maybe thinking about how that might happen. Well, sitting for this is really cool. Uh, she's a very nice person just to walk to. Uh, she made me feel really comfortable while I was doing it. Um, and it came out really well. I really like the way she drew me. Um, it makes it look like I'm thinking about something really wise when I was probably thinking about dinner. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is art is really cool and especially with the focus on the climate, which is such a big problem at the moment. Um, and well, how all these drawings show how the older generations aren't paying as much attention to it as they should be. It's a definitely a very uh, prevalent thing in today's society. It is sleeping in the woods.